What's up guys, it's April 14th and this is going to be my first YouTube video on trout fishing in New Jersey. Um, so yeah, the plan today is to uh, go to some of my normal spots and show you guys an awesome recipe how to cook up these New Jersey stock trout because they're pretty awesome to catch and pretty awesome to eat as well. Alright, see you at the water. Yesterday it had rained a lot. So this is the third spot we've been to trying to find a spot on this river or these series of rivers around here in Jersey that we can find some water that's not flowing like ridiculously fast. So uh, we're trying to look through and find the right spot. But uh, yeah, it's tough today. So let's see if we can get on them. Got him, fish on. And we just get one just like that. All right, that's the first one of the day. Spinner came right out. Beautiful little rainbow trout from New Jersey. Gotta love that. Nice little shine on him. All right, let's get him back. Yeah, that guy was a little small, decided not to keep him. We're uh, gonna let those guys grow a little bit. We're just looking for one fish here to cook up, so let him be the right one. <laughs> so we got a fish on the line today. This one's a better one. Ah. Got him! Woohoo! All right. That one is what we're looking for, for a perfect catch and cook. A little, around 12 inches is, is, is around a good size for that. The smaller guys is just a lot of work for those. I like to tend to let those guys go. All right. Woo! Got him. Fish on. Nice. This guy, we're not gonna take him home. He gets to live another day. Got him. Look at the colors on that. Little tiny guy. Beautiful trout for this river. We like to let these guys go. That's a stocky, healthy fish. Let's get the guy back in. Our camera died at the river, so unfortunately we couldn't get any more footage. But we had a great time catching those fish. We kept one trout, released all the rest, and we're gonna take it home and eat it for lunch and uh, show you guys an awesome recipe. Hopefully that uh, you guys are gonna like. So, all right, we'll see you in the kitchen. All right, guys, we made it back to the kitchen. Um, I'm really super excited to cook this fish up. I'm gonna show you guys an awesome technique that we use in restaurants. You guys can cook it at home and it's gonna turn out amazing. Um, so we're gonna get started with cleaning up that fish and I'll show you guys exactly how I do that. We're gonna make an awesome recipe. So I usually take this fish and starting right from that, uh, <laughs> you know, the anus, go up to the belly, cut all up through that. So right there, I just made an incision that I can then grab with my fingers and pull all that stuff out in one shot. As you can see, all that stuff comes out clean 
And I'm just gonna take the knife and just puncture that bloodline so I can get all that blood out. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is, in, in the kitchen when we cook a whole fish, I don't like to leave the fins on. So we're gonna take those and just cut them right out. The way that I like to cook these up is I don't actually like to have the skin on it, but I want to leave the fish whole. So this is a really cool technique that I get the skin off the fish and I can still cook the fish whole. So what I'm going to do is make some incisions around the fish, one at the tail, one more here at the tail, and I'm going to make an incision like you're going to fillet it, but I'm just marking the skin on both sides, just marking the skin up. And that's good there. So I have some boiling water that I'm gonna pour over the fish that's gonna loosen up the skin so it can then come right off the meat. Take it over and just in a, in a nice easy motion, I'm just gonna pour it over that skin of the fish. Very lightly, see how that's starting to change? And the skin's starting to come up. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna do the same thing on that side. Just directly pour that water right on top. The skin's gonna react, lift up from the meat. So the ingredients that I'm prepping today are super simple. I'm just gonna get one shallot and dice that up real small. That's gonna be for the sauce later. I'm gonna also slice some red bell peppers to be pickled. I'm gonna cube a little bit of butter and slice a lemon. And that's all I'm gonna really need to prep right now. I'm gonna make a quick pickling liquid for, um, for my peppers. What I'm doing is I'm putting about, I'd say half a cup red wine vinegar. I'm gonna come over and just get a splash of water in there so it's not super acidic. This is just plain old white sugar. Just a pinch of that. Maybe two pinches. And we're gonna, just gonna do a little bit of salt. Plain old kosher salt. Sprinkle that in there, let that come to a boil, and we're gonna pour it directly over the peppers. All right guys, so I'm getting ready to sear this fish off. This is a really important part on like getting a lot of flavor into that fish. So I'm using a pretty decent sized nonstick pan. You can use a cast iron or anything you have at home. But um, what I'm doing is I'm gonna get this pan smoking hot. Um, I'm gonna sear the fish in some ghee or clar clarified butter if you have it at home. If not, a little bit of olive oil or some neutral oil, grape seed oil, sunflower oil, that'll do. I got my tray ready to go in the oven. I got the oven at 400 degrees right now. I'm gonna let that get hot and I'm gonna sear this fish off. So here's the fish and I'm just gonna take both sides and season it nice with salt and pepper. You could be a little bit generous here. This fish, I got it seared off in the pan. I'm gonna finish it now in the oven. All right, so our fish is in the oven right now. This is the pan that we use to sear that fish in. We still have all that good stuff in there, so we're gonna use this to make a butter sauce. So I got this flame on low right now. This is one shallot. I'm gonna get that in there. A little sweat. I'm just gonna put a little bit of garlic. We don't have fresh because of this pandemic going on, so we got a little bit of regular old squeezed garlic. We're gonna put that in there. Give it a little stir. I'm gonna sweat out that shallot and garlic together. This is just some white wine. Happens to have, we happen to have a box laying around. So I'm gonna deglaze with that. That should be plenty. Once we're at that point, I'm gonna put our, a little bit of lemon juice that we had just squeezed. I'm gonna put that in there. And on low, at least on low, we're just going to start emulsifying in a little bit of butter. We're going to add a little pinch of salt in there. A little bit of 
pepper. And that's looking good. That's looking like a nice white wine butter sauce. Starting to have a nice viscosity to it. You can see the emulsification. We're not gonna use too much butter, but that's just like what we're looking for. Give it a quick taste. Delicious. Pull that right out, and that's looking great. So that's it, finished product. You got your trout with a beautiful butter sauce and pickled peppers, finished off with a little olive oil and lemon, lemon zest. Perfect way to highlight this fish that we just caught a few hours ago. You can serve this up with whatever vegetable or anything you want to cook as a side dish. Just take this whole fish, take a piece, it'll just flake right off. Flake right off, you can get some of that sauce, put it right on there. That's delicious. You guys gotta give that one a shot. So thanks for watching that video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that catch and cook. Um, it was awesome fishing. Um, let me know what you guys wanna see. If you guys wanna see more catch and cook, if you wanna see some fishing, some more techniques, some how I catch these, how I find these rivers, let me know what you guys wanna see and I'll make it happen. So thanks for watching that. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks.